hello everyone uh, this is the ef core power tool and you can download it uh, from official website marketplace.visual studio so this is uh, used for the reverse engineering in ef core power tools reverse engineering acts like an entity data model where it's generate the tables of our database as entity classes in the code and also db context class based upon our database so uh, this is the tool you can uh, just download it and uh, install it uh, in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to use the ef core power tools ef core power tools is the most powerful extensions you can say it's a provide a lot of options like reverse engineering to generate uh, the entity classes based upon database tables and also to generate the model diagrams okay so uh, this things is pretty simple you can do to use uh, um, power tool so just open visual studio if uh, already uh, open just uh, restart it uh, before used uh, Microsoft Power Tool to generate uh, classes as well as the DB context from our uh, database context uh, database. Okay, so just right click on uh, your project name, uh, just like the mtsp.net, uh, asp.net. Mm, that is a simple where uh, there is lots of options is there, and uh, you can see that configure. ASP uh, application insights uh, below options EF core power tools is there and also uh, the expandition science is also there so reverse engineering is the first options migration tool is the second options add DB context model diagram view DB context model DDL SQL and there are lots of options is there so uh, use reverse engineering uh, options from there given and select the add uh, database uh, or you can say the server name and after that uh, you have to select uh, the given server name is uh, you know uh, where your database exists it's like the local db uh, ms sql local db and choose the database from the given uh, given drop down list okay So uh, there is a drop down list where we have a song DB uh, is the database name and select OK. Use EF core 5 preview versions and there is a single table that is the TBO songs. Click on OK and the context name is the newly created songs DB context and the namespace is uh, empty SPNet and uh, you can select what to generate that is the entity type and db context there is a two uh, i mean to say the classes as well as the db context class also so uh, the db context class is generated uh, that is the songs db context and inherited from a db context class you know very well uh, but uh, uh, namespace is not resolved in the package so uh, uh, take few seconds and for downloading your EF core power tool package uh, for the DB context and you got some error because the package is not installed into your uh, uh, into your project so take some times and uh, to automatically installed automatically install your package for your DB context class that is the DB context just click on it and you can see that uh, db context is actually existing uh, um, entity frame microsoft dot entity frame core package so automatically installed that package and resolve your issues so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and that package is used for generating database tables from your database thank you very much